Hello, everybody. We are here at Homo in Valencia, Spain. We have, we have here Sensei Jose Tola from Zamora and Alonso Martin Uchidesi coming from uh, Madrid and Zamora too. Uh, today we are discussing and training several sequence, interesting sequence, in this case about Aiki Jiu Jitsu, very classical sequences that you will see in this video and I am sure you will enjoy it. Then, let's uh, give some small details and some recommendations and tips for the performance of these sequences. Then, please, understand. By now, uh, the Tori, in this case Sensei Tola, will remain with the Kapana uh, in, the, in the OB, in the, in the belt, and uh, the enemy will stand up and will try to strike with one punch and after this he will try to uh, kick with a front kick. Then uh, the uh, Tori will keep the distance on the first attack keeping and being ready for drawing the sword but the second attack give the the, the, the option is the moment for having a very strong restriction. Then, please, very good. We have here the first strike that will take a little bit conscience, and in the other side, we have uh, the katana that we have crossed, passed to the other side, and we have this control. From here down to the ground in a downward direction, very strong. The UK in this case will fall directly face down to the ground. Following this idea, this restriction on the left, this lock will remain. Then, okay, right now, strike one, take the two arms, one and the other, and the knee, it's over the wrist. Having this control, we have restriction. On the scapular area, on the waist area, the the both uh, waist they are really strained. Then this is the end for this technique, very classical, employing the katana as a tool to develop. Okay, let's go for a second sequence of today. In this case, the uke will grab the handle of the katana with the idea of taking out. And the Tori, in this case Sensei Tola, one more time, he will make an Akuzu C and at the same time will strike the face. But the idea is not striking, but generating, creating the uh, opportunity to do the following. And please try to grab. And in this case, the, we have the imbalance and we have to, uh, to rem remind here that the waste is completely, the, the, the energy is blocked here. It's hard to defend against this position because it's a very, very uncomfortable position. Then, the following thing, the, in this case, Tori will make a rolling movement, having this control, of course. He could take out here the wrist, but at the same time, we have the control here, and now making an unbalance, make the turn. Right now we have this control, take a look, the, the wrist is blocked on the pit and at the same time we have this very, very powerful control, this powerful lock. If the Harao of Sensei Tola turns, please, move a little, we pass to the other circumstance. Please, the camera will go to this position, it will be very easier to see what was happening here. The Hara is pointing on, on the outside and this is very, very restrained. Then to end, Tola will make a downward movement here and will step on the elbow, making the Hara going up. And at the end, Sensei Tola will take out the sword and remain in San Zin, waiting for maybe other enemies attack or whatever it could happen. It's a very, very classical sequence. Then, let's go for third. On this third sequence, we will deal with a very, very powerful control, a powerful grip on the enemy. 
On this case, Alonso Sam will uh, use, will employ a tanto, a knife, in order to make the restriction. Then it's a very, very uh, dangerous technique. Very, we have very a, a very risky situation. Then, uh, please, Alonso Sam will try to do a kata te te kubitoi kubishime. Then, please, Alonso Sam. Draw the knife, and right now he is, will try. One, sorry, sorry. But here he will try to have this control. Then cut the knife completely control. It's unallowed to to draw, and the other side is controlled. The most difficult side is when tries to go to the side, and it's more powerful and more difficult to perform. This is a very or the more risky situation you will find in this kind of circumstances because the knife is very, very dangerous. Of course, if he is completely bent down, it will be very difficult to escape from this situation. Then, when, uh, when he is aware to be uh, controlled, he will take the hand and control, making some space. Many people try to do on the forearm, but the forearm could have the circumstance to move a little the wrist and we will have also the risky situation to be cut on the, uh, on the neck. Then be, uh, be aware that we have to, to keep control on the hand, avoiding the knee, the, the, the knife, sorry, to, to move or to slide. At the same time, it's not making some force to take out. It's rolling a little because this small roll will make that the hand will twist a little and will keep out the blade from the, from the most, um, most uh, dangerous position, that is the, the blade. And from here, uh, the hand will turn, will turn very, uh, uh, very slow because we have to take care that the knife is not harming. And right now, he will uh, step away from the enemy a little in order to cross the hands on this position. We have here the Jumonji Otoshi. To the, to the ground, right now we have this control, this control, keep here, step, and right now we have to take out, but this is, in a bear, I mean, this is not right. Okay, I will, in this case, the enemy cool turn, please, move, move it, ah, eh, this, that's right, then this is not right, has control on the knife and this is, and this is, uh, this is bad, this is a mistake. When we have here, we have to keep this straight and have this control, because right now, take a look at the uh, hara, it's going up. Then uh, we have, I am doing very, very, uh, very uh, uh, soft in order to don't damage along the sun in this case. But the idea is to step on the forearm and wrist. And this is very, very painful. Then uh, if you do on the fingers, on the hand bones, the UK will have conditions to move a little then we have to step in the right place here. Right now, the idea is to take out, by the back side of the blade, take out the knife, and right now, this, you will continue from this point, please, step on the hand, very, no, 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 it's not. If you release, you have conditions to react, then remember, you have take out the door. And if you have this control, you have to take this. And from here, move to that point. You have this control, and right now, a step on that side. This is the right way to do it. Please, one more time. Do it by your way. Remember, you have this control. Be careful with the sliding hook to From here, step on. Okay, you have to clean a little the movement, but that's the point. Draw the soul and very, very well. Okay, this is a quick and simple explanation for the more superficial details of this zero sequence study today.
let's go to the last one for today. Then let's go to the fourth technique. In this, uh, uh, in this one, the Uke, which is uh, Alonso san will handle uh, a katana, a bokudo in this case, and he will try to perform a direct vertical uh, cut, samakuchi. Then the tori, in this case, uh, Jose san, sensei Jose, please. He will enter inside the attack, striking with a tsukate on the uh, on the chin. Then please here keep that these need to be remain on the waist, and from here he will move, making this control. This is very important to perform it well because if you don't do in the uh, proper direction, the katana will remain freely and cool cut to yourself. Then it's very important, right now, uh, Sensei Hosan has the control with the handle on the elbow, then it's a very, very uh, powerful control. But the most important thing here, it's where the direction it's pointing to. It's, if you try only to perform um, a direct lock to the elbow, Alonso San could go up. Por favor, Alonso San, intente levantar y escapar. Okay, this is very difficult to, to do it because if we are dealing with a very, very powerful, a strong man, it will be very difficult to remain in this position. Then the key is to draw the handle making this direction because it's very, very more powerful. It's quite more powerful. Then perform right now the control. From here, we are kneeling down on the on the calf in order to get straight the uh, knee. It's a very powerful control. Then after that point, when we have these conditions, step on the knee, have this control, sit down the opponent, and right now he will step forward with the right leg here, very, very far, and right now move in order to perform an Udeosai Ura. But when we have this control, please, I will, I will ask you to move a little from here. Please, from the No, 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 continue. Okay. When we have this, the sun will pass to the other side, aside, keeping this control. Sorry. Okay. This control on the hand. Okay. And right now, we'll take control on the other hand and having this very very interesting uh, Jumonji condition because we have here this straight and the other bend we have the injo condition here and this is the uh, final control he could keep in al alert he could keep alert in sun scene keeping control of what is happening uh, around and it's the final or the end for this four technique well, I hope you have enjoyed this very, very interesting, very detailed uh, sequences, conditions, and uh, keep watching our videos. Thank you very much for you, all of you subscribers that you are following all our work along all these weeks. Thank you very much.